my friends, how are you? Today we will listen to different sounds and we will find the difference between them. Are you ready? Great, let's begin. Look at this musical instrument. Let us listen to its sound when it vibrates strongly. Did you hear its sound? Let's listen again. Great! And now, let us listen to its sound when it vibrates gently. Hmm. Again. Did you notice a difference between the two sounds? Good job! When it had a large vibration, it resulted in a loud sound. And when it had a small vibration, it resulted in a quiet sound. This is great! And now, let us listen to the sound of tree leaves. Did you notice that when the wind is gentle, the tree leaves vibrate a little? That is why the sound is quiet. And when the winds become stronger, the tree leaves vibrate a lot, which results in a loud sound. So, we can infer, my friends, that quiet sounds are a result of a small vibration, and loud sounds are a result of a large vibration. Good job! And now, I need you to help me classify these sounds into loud and quiet sounds. Here, we have a wall clock and an alarm clock. Let us listen to each one. What do you notice? Great job! The wall clock sound is quiet. While the alarm clock sound is loud. What about the sound of a water drop and a waterfall? We notice that a water drop is gently vibrated, so its sound is quiet. While the vibration of the water in the waterfall is strong, so its sound is loud. This is great! And now, let us look at this plane and this bird. Which one makes a loud sound? Correct! The plane sound is loud. While the bird sound is quiet. Let's see what we have here. A motorcycle and a bicycle. What did you notice, my friends? The sound of the motorcycle is loud. While the sound of the bicycle is quiet. You did great!
Together we learned the reason for sounds becoming loud and quiet, and we now know how to distinguish between loud and quiet sounds.